what's going on here in the realm of the spirit. And I begin to see what's called the issues that have been in the court case. Why is it that the Lord is now taking major prophet of God into this matter this week? I am seeing what's called, this was called in the realm of the spirit, what's called the issue of the people of Biafra and the Nigeria. Now making what's called the impossible to chew, the impossible to chew, the impossible to chew because the strong power and the force that is behind the man and the custody called the Mazin and the camel. The spiritual force that have been unleashed is too much. More than what Nigeria can chew and pass by. This was called chew and pass by, but it's too much for the Nigeria to chew and pass by. So what's needed here is what's called what's called amicable settlement. This is not an issue to chew and pass by. Because that's what's called the tribe of the evils, called the tribe of, of, of the people of the evils. They are the, the tribe that is coming from what's called this is tribe, what's called the Biafran tribe. These people are coming, what's called the superpower that cannot be chewed anyhow and run over. Because I'm seeing what's called a lot of several meetings in the realm of the spirit that have been decided often and often to chew and pass by and forget the matter and trash it. The more they try to chew and pass by, the more things become too difficult. And the Lord began to show me the prophecy He gave me. Three, four years ago, when I prophesied about the case of Nambekan and what is going to become in the future, and what is has to do with what's called being too tough to handle and being too difficult to be able to chew and pass by. The only thing that I am seeing right now is that this issue is going to settle by fire by force because that what called is some force that has fully involved that cannot be chewed and passed by. So when a matter is too tough, and every party have looked at it from every angle, they've looked at it from the east, from the west, from the north, from every angle, and see that this matter is not a matter to chew and pass by. There will be what's called a peaceful and amicable settlement. Amicable settlement. Amicable settlement. Amicable settlement. There's no height, there's no level, there's no class. That can chew this matter and pass by. <laughs> Major Prophet of God will just go to the spiritual world and download what's called the database. Because when I sing it to you here, spiritual database, spiritual database, spiritual database, open the home. Spiritual database, spiritual database, spiritual database, open. You think it's a job. That's what's called the spiritual database. When the spiritual database opens, the major prophet of God now will dive in and begin to say it the way it is. Because I'm seeing what's called, this was called unleashed, excess power unleashed. This is what's called excess power unleashed. So Nigeria will have no choice but to settle with the people of Diaphora and agree with them and discuss the best way forward and the makeability of everything. This is not an issue to overall and wrap up and just do anyhow. This is an issue that we cause what's called what's called the both spiritual, physical and other matter because of the power that has been unleashed with a young man called the Inam the Khan right there in your custody. There's excess power unleashed because when I search through the spirit I'm seeing what's called a strong spiritual force that have been unleashed on daily basis, unleashed in such a way to now constitute what's called frontline defense. When you talk about this frontline defense, we are talking about uh, the spiritual warfare that cannot be handled ordinarily. This is why I also advise all believers, all Christians, it's not about Facebook, it's not about internet, it's not about uh, one million followers, two million, it's about being spiritual enough to design the spiritual and download what is there in the realm of the spirit and bring it to the physical so that people of God can always pray and also penetrate the spiritual world to always stand and pray the prayer that is called the spiritual unleash for freedom. I pray for the spiritual unleashed power 
for your freedom. Wherever you are, let the Lord unleash the superpower, the strong force for your frontline defense, for your spiritual backup, for your spiritual follow-up, for your spiritual fortunes to make the door to open, to now penetrate the spiritual world and begin to break every boundary, begin to scatter whatever that stands on the way and begin to dismantle everyone that stands on the way to be a constitutional issue or problem to now cost you limitation to unleash the superpower to unleash the spiritual strength to unleash the spiritual energy unleash the superpower the superpower that will rule the world that will rule the world and this is why i told you last time i said africa is going to emancipate themselves africa is going to emancipate themselves because this issue of what's called a colonialism is already dead in the spiritual because what is called unleash the power the power is going to be too much unleashed that the young man coming will pick up the bull by the horn and unleash spiritual and physical that will make it too difficult and the terrain will be too fought for the wicked to handle and this is why the nigerian musicians the nigerian act are going to take over the world whether the world like it or not they're going to take over the world. The Nigerian musicians, Nigerian musical musicians, both the gospel, both the secular, both everything happening from this part of the world in Nigeria is going to terrify the world and also take over the world everywhere. And uh, it has already started with people, a lot of them, the Bido, uh, the Bido, uh, 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 Whiskey, and all the, the gospel artists, uh, all of them, all the people, all of them, all the gospel artists, all the secular artists, every one of them, get yourself ready because the supernatural power has been unleashed in such a way that the world is going to stand still for the African people to now rise up and also now control a dimension. And this is why I'm talking about the Naira that need to, something need to be done as quick as possible because it is time that we have to unleash the supernatural because the world is coming to a time that it is only the supernatural that will be able to now quickly, you know, survive in the terrain that is already a front and what is already ahead so we need to put on all the old armor of god to now move and you as a believer you as my follower my sons and my daughter it is time you begin to connect full time with your major prophet of god because we are unleashing the superpower that can never ever by any means be contained by any physical human being or powers on the face of the earth because there's going to be what's called this is what's called technology is going to rise in such a way that a lot of aircraft a lot of aircraft aeroplanes you are seeing nobody need to become a pilot anymore <laughs> people that are into piloting as pilots very soon nobody's going to become a pilot anymore <laughs> i begin to ask myself I, I, what does it mean that we don't have a pilot anymore and the lord said this is not about people now piloting aeroplane or aircraft people will enter into a craft but who will pilot this aircraft to the destination of the aircraft and i begin to look and i see what's called the robots machines programmed aeroplane will be programmed time to take off and time to get to where it's going and uh, we are going to have now in the world what's called what's called what's called the use of what's called the, the boom the the micro speed and what's called the supersonic that if you enter from nigeria you are going to america it cannot take you more than 20 minutes from nigeria to america 20 minutes at most 20 minutes when you land in america and you are done with what you are doing there you enter into the plane within two hours you are done with what you are doing you enter into the plane or one hour or 30 minutes you finish what you want to do you enter into the plane and the plane will move you there back to nigeria so going to america and coming back will take only 40 minutes <laughs> i am seeing that what's called what's called more discoveries of some things because we, the spiritual world is going to manifest in the physical the spiritual world is going to manifest in the physical to be able to fight wars and be able to fight battles 
And uh, oh, it's quite unfortunate that a lot of people are not spiritually you know, oriented. Many people are not spiritually minded. If we are spiritually minded, there are too many things that we need to spiritually begin to discover. And when you discover these things spiritually, you'll be surprised how you will spiritually and microscopically in the realm of the spirit and begin to do things that are completely unbelievable. People will never believe what and what you are able to do because uh, this issue of the spiritual world is an issue that everybody should wake up to. And I want to tell all the believers and all the people of God to wake up, connect with your prophet, be in line with your prophet. In fact, make your prophet happy so that he will teach you deeper things. If it takes you to sow a seed, you sow the seed. Don't forget, don't forget and say, oh, uh, every connection you need to connect with your prophet, begin to do it. Connect with your prophet with every means. Seed sowing, tight paying, uh, gift, whatever means you need to connect. Stand by, stand by with your prophet. There is a banner that is being lifted up that will continue to speak for the people of God. And this is what's called strong force and the supernatural, super unleashed of the superpower. And what's called frontline defense that cannot, cannot be broken by any earthly power. That's the power that God is unleashing for his people. So may the Lord bless you for today's broadcast. Tomorrow we are going to meet again. Tomorrow I am coming with what's called double-edged sword. Because any man that refuses your freedom will receive the sword. Any power that says no to you will cut up with the edge of sword. And the Spirit of God will give you your freedom by fire, by force, in the name of Jesus. So if the Lord has touched you with this program, I need you to, as quick as possible, connect with this superpower that is going to be unleashed to everybody. The superpower of freedom. Connect with it. Put a seed in your hand. Use that seed as a point of contact. Connect with this altar. Believe God for what God is going to do. Any type of prayer request, any type of thing you are praying in your heart, I want to say to you that God has answered you. And the miracle is already taking place. And the superpower is already at work in your life. And whether the devil like it or not, everything is turning around for your good. And I see the light upon your head. And I see the hand of the Lord directing your path. In Jesus' most powerful name, I pray. We'll meet again the same time tomorrow. You will see what's called double S sword at work in your life in Jesus' name.